Shalom. All praise, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachach Kodash. <coughs> Double honors to the apostles, elders, elder bishops, teachers of Great Millstone, and the like minded men who are not directly part of Great Millstone but are following the same doctrine, affiliated with the men of Great Millstone, but following the same doctrine, 144% truth given to Apostle Taha. And the other Apostle Gabar, Apostle Taha, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Raka, Apostle Ramlab, Bishop Sakharan, just to mention a few, you know. Um, initially from from them men being at One West, and initially through um, Elder Abba Bivins, all given from Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. Um, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, his true name in the Paleo Hebrew, Lashwan Kodash, meaning he is, he, he is, he exists, he to be. Yeah. Um, so it's not Jehovah, not God, it's Yahweh. Yeah. And his, um, the true name of his only begotten son is not Jesus. Yeah. It is Yahweh Shai, meaning he saves, he's salvation, he, he delivers. And he's going to return soon to deliver um, the elect of the nation of Yahshua, Allah, the nation of Israel, the house of David, will be delivered in that time and in those days. Yeah. In that day. Um, so only the nation, the elect of the nation of Israel, the house of David. So, <clears throat> yeah, so this is where we're at. So today, Lord's World, it's just a quick piece of information. You know, sounding the grinding is low, but I'm going to start with that. Um, as you can see the headlines there, I put, so I'm going to go straight to... <clears throat> This is these twelve. And my phone doesn't start messing about. Let me see where we're at. Is it like that? And so I think I'll try one more time. I'm going straight to the point. Um, um, in the day when the keepers of the house, that's the leaders of this world, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos is one of them, yeah, shall tremble. And they're going to tremble soon when you have a shower returns. Yeah, um, but the, what they're seeing right now is, uh, what they're saying right now is people um, are going to lose their jobs. Yeah, all right. And this is going to be the beginning of them trembling. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has taken them out little by little. Lord's will, I'll get that scripture. And a strong man shall bow themselves. And the grinders cease. Yeah, those are the work, uh, the people at workers. So go to this word grinders. Um, like um, Apostle Taha's image on his um, site is two. On his um, page is two uh, millstones grinding. And so, what the millstones, people used to push the millstones. And grind the meal. And grind the wheat. Yeah, and, and turn it to the flour. So, so basically, it's just it's lucky for this. What sort of this? The grinders are basically the workers. I'm gonna try and look. something's up with my um, <clears throat> internet. So, Lord's will it will come through soon. Be a bit of patience. So, the grinders are the workers. Um, what we're seeing right right now is. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs. Because um, the Esau Edom and the so-called elites are a... Uh, Esau Edom being a so-called white man, by the way. We are ruling this earth right now, Job 9 and 24. <clears throat> the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Um, and Esau Edom is a border of wickedness. Malachi, the first chapter. Third and fourth verse. Yeah. Um, what the elites are doing right now is they're putting a stranglehold uh, constraining um, each and in each nation, yeah, and they're getting the people desperate. I mean, people are going to be losing their jobs. Um, so Apostle um, um, Ramlab went into the last video just to do about control, so they can have complete control over the people. 
yeah, and um, the ultimate goal of that control is going to be the MOT to the B, which is Revelation 13, chapter 16, 17th verse, yeah, the, the, uh, um, the, the digital all, the physical mark that they will introduce very, very soon, yeah, on a worldwide scale. Um, you know, we've got the CBDC coming, that's the central bank digital currency, which will give them another form of total control, but they won't be satisfied with that. They will eventually bring out the rev um, the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast. All right. <clears throat> but what now we see in the um, incremental steps? This is all done by Yahweh Hashem Yashai, by the way, because Yahweh Hashem Yashai is in control of everything. Yeah. Isaiah 45 and 7 comes to mind. Yeah. Um, um, Deuteronomy 32, 39. Yeah, the Lord controls everything, yeah, so don't get that twisted. The, the, um, Esau Edom's doing the Lord's work on the left hand side, you know. He's the Lord's sword, all right. Um, Psalm 17 and 13. Yeah, and the, um, the wicked were creating for the day of evil, again, Psalm 16 and 4. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm continuing with this. And the strong Masalaki, I couldn't go into. Um, the the actual um, break, uh, interlinear breakdown of the word. So grinders cease. Basically, the workers are going um, to are going to people are going to be losing their jobs cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows are dark and that that look out of the windows be dark and so people are going to see there's no future. Yeah, which will again bring in Second Ezra's fifteenth chapter. You know, um, where where they will not regard the kings or princes because of the lack of bread. Right, so it's all we can see, you know, all the prophecies are popping off like popcorn. We can see um, this incremental step, this gradual step to the breakdown of this system, which is a beautiful thing to see. It's a great time to be living, you know what I'm saying, yeah? For this period of Yahweh Hashim Yashai. Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the door shall be shut in the streets, you know, no work, when the sound of the grinding is low, yeah? Again, it goes into no work. Um, and the sh uh, grinding is low, and he shall rise up. The, uh, the voice of the best people are going to be getting up early in the morning, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Which <laughs> music is very low. I tend not to listen to music much. You know, it's on a low vibration right now. Yeah. So um, um, I'm going to go actually read it in the, NL in the NLT, Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. Remember him before the door. Remember before the door to life's opportunities is closed and the sound of work fades. <clears throat> These are the times we're in, you know. So as it says in the first verse, remember that created in the days of thy youth. Yeah. <clears throat> um, fades. And now you, you rise at the first chirping of the birds, but then all the sounds will grow faint. There's going to be no work, yeah, eventually. You know, because the tribulation is coming. There's no two ways about that. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. All right? Um, Jeremiah 13 and 7. Daniel 12 and 1. So, like I said, I'm going to go to this article here. Quickly, quick read, bullet point it. Amazon to shut three UK warehouses impacting 1,200 jobs. I think it was about a month ago, a couple of weeks ago. You know, the, the I think it was 1,200 jobs, 12,000 jobs or... Um, in in the US, um, other companies, you had Nordstrom closing down stores in the U in, in Babylon the Great, which is the US. It's happening all over the world. This system, whether you believe it or not, is slowly being brought to its knees. Yeah, this is the Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. I'm just going to read a few of these um, um, paragraphs. Amazon has announced it will be shutting three warehouses in the UK in a move which will impact 1,200 workers. Sites in Hemel Hempstead, that's London, Doncaster, that's a kind of South Yorkshire, that's a bit further north, um, Gorrock, I don't know where that is, in the west of Scotland, in the west of Scotland, have been proposed for closure. It is understood that all workers at the sites will be offered roles at other Amazon locations, so they're going to have to move. You know what I'm saying, yeah? If you live in Scotland, you don't, you might not want to move three, four hundred miles away for a job, you know? But these elites don't care. The system has been brought down for you. How about Shimmy Hashai? 
the elites think they have control of it, but they're going to wake up in the bunkers and they're going to find, oh no, we're in slavery. That's what's going to happen to them, you know what I'm saying, as the scriptures say. Right, um, let me go to the, but let me just start. Let me go to the quick. Go to the Curses will be passed on to Esau or Edom. That's Deuteronomy 13 7. We'll get straight to the point of this. Um, <clears throat> Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Yeah, because that's what's going to happen. It's going to be nuked. Early Hawashah is going to save his elect, save the elect, one third out of um, the, the of America as the nukes are falling. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Right, and remember, um, the apostles have gone into many times, it's going to be a sacrifice. Isaiah 34 chapter goes into it, Isaiah 13 goes into it, as do other, this chapter goes into it, um, Jeremiah 50, 49, um, 50, 51, you know what I'm saying, yeah? Right, uh, Revelation 18 goes into the destruction of Babylon, the great, which is America, yeah? Babylon is suddenly fallen, destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. So, you know, as as a scripture that I've got later on in Wisdom of Solomon goes into it. Um, Yahweh Barashim Yahshai took out the Canaanites out of the land little by little. Yeah, you can do it swiftly, but what's happening is a systematic um, bring down of Esau's, uh, is, of Esau's nakedness, Esau's, Rulership is systematically being brought down. You know, the strong man, as um, the scriptures say, you know, how can you go into a strong man's house unless you take out that strong man, yeah? That's in um, Matthew, I think it's Matthew the 12th chapter. As well, I'll get that actually. Let me get that after this. We would have healed, um, Revel uh, Jeremiah 51 and 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country. You know, forsake her spiritually. Yeah, that's not, not the flea doctrine. Yeah, you got to forsake her spiritually. We've got to take yourselves out of it. Don't celebrate the Christmas. Don't celebrate the New Year. Yeah, they're all pagan holidays. Don't celebrate these Easter and all this business. We've got the Passover coming up soon in a, a few a few months. Yeah, in a few weeks, a few months. Um, you know, we, we, you take yourselves out of it spiritually for the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Come back to the Lord's statutes and commandments. Yeah. And you know, believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, believe in the grace of Yahweh Shai, yeah, and what He did for us. You know, Apostle Gabar goes into it many times. I know the apostles do. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, we'd be lost in the source. It's as simple as that. The sacrifices are absolutely just. Uh, there's no words that can describe it. Yeah, yeah, to bring us back to Yahweh. So you know, we got we got to do the best that we can in our lot, right? Because this place is done. There's nothing here anymore. No, there wasn't anything here in the um, first place, but you know, this is always a place about punishment. But there's nothing here. There's nothing to go back to. There's nothing in this world. Yeah, you know, we, we, we look for a world to come. Yeah, we're in the world of righteousness. Yeah, um, forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. For a judgment reacheth unto the unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, Revelation 18 chapter goes into that. The judgments have lifted up. Reached up to you, how about Shimi Arashai? The place is wicked. Right, um, second, I just 15, but also goes into it as well. And nine. Um, wait a minute, second, I go to the video, rambling on a little bit. <clears throat> go to a little video here. of the United Kingdom as the meeting between ministers and trade unions failed to end the wave of industrial actions. Across sectors from healthcare to transport, unions representing the health workers condemned the government's approach. Unfortunately, the, uh, the government have missed yet another opportunity 
to put this uh, right. We came here uh, in good faith. Uh, what they want to talk about is productivity. Productivity, when our members uh, are working 18-hour shifts, quite how you become more productive with that, I uh, do not know. But today, unfortunately, despite us showing up in good faith, the government had missed yet another opportunity to put this right. Enough is enough. Blackguards in New York City were seen screaming out these words as the nurses of city hospitals in the United States go on strike. Just a month after the UK health professionals staged massive protests, 7,000 nurses staged a protest over pay and understaffing issues in New York in a move that caused one of the facilities to postpone procedures and appointments. The healthcare professionals came out together to register their complaints. As the contract negotiations... So you see, um, it's not just um, you know people are losing their jobs. People are striking. You know, um, people are all over the world. Be it in, in the UK, in the US, Babylon the Great. You know, we've got China people are actually rioting over there as well. I watched the um, full spectrum report the other day. Yeah, it's all over, man. It's all crazy. How about Shai? It's, it's a beautiful time to be living. Yeah. Yeah, let me get a quick scripture go to Psalms PSA seventy two and twelve. So like it's seventy six I wrote it down. Um, so like it, um, it says Psalm 76 and 12 he shall cut off the spirit of princes he is terrible who's the prince of this world yeah he's coming after this working of Satan it's Esau Edom yeah they're running this world right now Job 9.24 goes into it yeah he is terrible to the kings of the earth <laughs> for he breaks I'll read it in the NLT for he breaks the pride of princes you know, Obadiah goes into whose who's pride of the hearts have deceived them. Esau, Edom, again. And the kings of the earth fear him. Yeah? They don't fear Yahabashi Mashai enough. You know? Um, but they will, in time. You know? Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Simple as that. That's what's going to happen when Yahabashi returns. Um, let me go to... So we've seen the people are mourning. Let me quickly get that. Um, P. Proverbs, isn't it? Proverbs, twenty ninth chapter. Right. So Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Clearly, the people are not rejoicing now. You got strikes all over the world. You got all rows of the people. I did a video um, the other day, yesterday, on uh, Brazil. Yeah, the people are all over this, this, this globe. People are moaning and mourning because uh, the the creation yearns for for the sons of the Most High, Yasharallah, to be in power under Yahweh Shai. Yeah, simple as that. The whole creation is moaning and yearning for those days of righteousness. Yeah, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in. Um, I'm gonna read the NLT. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are in power, they groan. Yeah. So I'm gonna end it with a couple of scriptures. I'm gonna go to Matthew the 12 chapter. Here we are. Right. <clears throat> right, here we go. Matthew 12 from 29. Oh, how, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his gods? This is what's happening. Yeah, Esau Edom was given the rulership of this world, but Yahabashi Yahushai is systematically stripping them of it. Yeah. 
for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Yeah, if we un, um, that's second and just six and nine. Ecclesiastes 10 and um, 8 goes into it as well. Unrighteous dealings, oh, oh Lord, well, I'll get that. Um, or else can enter, who one can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except the fir he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Yeah, <laughs> we see in the house of Esau, Eden being spoiled. Um, let me quickly get a few more. Here we are. Wisdom of Solomon, I go for twelve chapters, I think about the ninth verse. So this was talking about the Canaanites being taken out of the land and how Yahweh Shai did it. Yeah. So but I'm gonna apply it to today because what we're seeing is systematic breakdown of um Esau 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 Edom's system. Simple as. So I'll start from the verse 8. Rizim of Solomon 12 and 8. Nevertheless, even those thou spiritest as men and didst send wasps, forerunners of thy hosts, armies, to destroy them by little and little. And we see in the systematic breakdown of Esau Edom system earthquakes in diverse places affecting the crops, yeah, which will bring on famine. Right, and um, high inflation and um, wars. Again, I'm looking at um, um, the news channel right now. They've got um, speaking about the war in Ukraine and Russia. All these things will systematically break this place down. Yeah? Um, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 9. <clears throat> Not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle, or to destroy them at once with the cruel beast or with one rough word, but executing thy judgments upon them by little and little, thou gavest them place of repentance, not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation and that their malice was bred in them. And who are the wicked? Esau, Edom. Yeah, and they obviously we are wicked Israelites too. Yeah, I read that today in the first Maccabees, yeah. Um, one in eleven specifically. Yeah, there's always people who um, go hand in hand with the wicked. Yeah, um, but the hand join in hand. The, the, in fact, I'm gonna get that. No, no, no I'm not gonna get that. Um, so, so lucky. I'm all over the place in my head with scriptures. So I'm just gonna try and stick to the what I had. Yeah, um, and that their malice was bred in them and that their cognitation, that's their thought patterns, would never be changed. Yes, Edom, Esau, Edom, can you make anything um, straight that is crooked? No. Yeah, I'm going to get that too, actually. Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. <clears throat> that which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. So Esau, Edom is never going to change. Yeah, they are the wicked. The, that the Bible speaks of, right? And their rulership is wicked, and their rulership um, has been systematically brought down as we speak on a daily basis. The prophecies are popping off like popcorn. With that, Lord's will, this is edifying um, to the elect from the hopeful elect. I'm going to say Shalom Salakia if it was all over the place. You know, um, I want to bring out many scriptures, but this way it is. So, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Makak, Bash, double honest to the apostles of Great Mustang. Um, Shalom to the elect from the hopeful elect. Shalom.